Okay, this is going to be part two of the three coil SRF demo. Here's my L3. The north end or the north cardinal point end is open. What I've done to the south end is add an AV plug, 21N4148, and a super white lead. Now, because I know there's going to be all kinds of feedback saying that this LED is acting as a solar cell. I'm going to put some black electrical tape over it so that it can't see anything. And of course that's immaterial even if there was some DC flowing into the circuit. Uh, what we have here is basically a ring generator composed of this white LED with the black tape, the 21N4148 on the south or south cardinal end of this L3 coil. At this time I have nothing connected to the north end and I'm not showing anything with my uh, spectrum analyzer. We'll go up here and take a look at it. We're still set up the same way. 40 megahertz bandwidth with center frequency at 20 megahertz. My marker as you can see is located over here in the right hand corner. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and insert my spectrum analyzer probe into that coil and I do want to have my LEDs or my AV plug and LED in a vertical position uh, 90 degrees opposite of the coil nothing is connected to the north cardinal point end and what we have done now is we have radically changed the spatial resonant frequency of this coil by adding the circular generator on the end. And what is going to happen when we look at the spectrum analyzer, we don't see any oscillation in it this time. So what we have to do now is we have to take and excite the coil as well as this little ring generator up here by connecting the north cardinal point to this clip lead which is hooked to an earth ground. Okay now I assure you when you see this we have no gener generators or signal sources within the lab at all that are going to do this. So let me go ahead and hook up this end of the coil and I have to readjust this. I want this to be vertical. And our spectrum analyzer probe is sitting in it. So now we have an AV plug with a covered LED. Spectrum analyzer probe stuck in the end of the coil. The opposite end is hooked to this ground wire which goes down to an earth ground through the three prong plug of the lab system. Okay, so now what do you think we're going to see when we move up here and look at the spectrum analyzer? Ooh, lo and behold, we have something far better than what we had with the poor coil just sitting there by itself. Let me go ahead and move the marker over there and see how much our spatial frequency has shifted. Hold on a second. Okay, what we have now is in the center of this cluster we have moved our spatial frequency to 17.4 and if you notice we're still at about minus 70 dBm but if you look at the bandwidth of this as opposed to the bandwidth of the original part one where we're at 29 megahertz you'll see that we have a far greater energy content here than we had when we were down here. And also our peaks are far greater. If you look at the actual reading that comes across here, we actually drop down into the minus 60 dBm. And it's, it's fluctuating because what's happening is we're picking up energies from all kinds of environmental sources and this and some when some of them are in phase you'll see that this goes up in energy but anyway I wanted to show you that now we have shifted the spatial energy or the spatial resonant frequency of this coil by adding the AV plug and connecting the coil to earth ground 
Now we're coming up with a bit more energy, aren't we, than what we had in part one. So here is kind of where we're headed, and I think you can see the writing on the wall of what's going to happen and why we're able to use the three-coil system.